performed against Ole Miss, and rightly so showed grit, determination. Latricia, as you just spoke about, now how do you not have a letdown? How do you build upon that as Oklahoma will not get the opening touch? Thought they would. So the possession arrow next time will go to Oklahoma. So I suppose they're not counting that as a possession. And ORU will actually get the first crack at it. Hannah Cooper is at the controls. This dump down inside goes to Udomo. Follow shot misses as well, and Skylar Van yanks away her first rebound of the afternoon. The Sooner starting lineup is presented by Love's Travel Stops. The heart of the highway as Peyton Verholst misses that runner. There's our Love starting five. Lexi Keys, the Oklahoma State transfer, the talented freshman McDonald's All-American Sahara Williams. And Peyton Verholst was a McDonald's All-American coming out of high school as well. Spent two seasons at Louisville before coming to Norman. Turnover against the Golden. She's an excellent point guard. She was, in fact, 20th in the country last year in scoring, averaging 20 points per game. There's a backdoor. Great pass by Verholst to find Williams. So buckle your seat belts. Get the oxygen tank ready. Wide open. Weinrich drives in and hits a little eight-foot floater in the paint. She's one of the newcomers. Came from Butte College. But she's a California kid from Willows, California. Yeah, Coach Music said that she's just an impressive leader on this team, and she has bought in since day one. There's Verholst back and down a defender, but she's guilty of a traveling violation. So already multiple giveaways. You cannot afford to have empty possessions. Jones, nice find in Cooper and a good extra pass, but the shot is short by Udomo. Her putback, however, is good, and the Golden Eagles lead it. Really doing a fantastic job. The Bayatot misfiring there. Emily Robinson, the rebound at ORU on the push. Emily Robinson had a double-double, 10 points and 10 rebounds in their win over Friends University. The step-through bucket and a foul. Jenny Baranchek going to the bench early in this one. Beatrice Culleton, who was really a standout player in the win over Ole Miss. And we also see Aubrey Jones, who's had a good start to her season. In fact, she's second on this team scoring-wise, averaging 14 points per game. What a weapon to bring off the bench for Jenny Baranza. Well, it really is. And talk about just her DNA with her four sisters, Courtney, that played in Illinois, Ashley, that we drafted in the second round of the WNBA. She has Bailey and, and Kelsey. I mean, this is a group that are just hardworking, blue parlor, collar individuals. Nevea Tot's first three of the season goes home. And Sahara Williams, the rebound. She can be a one-player fast break if she rebounds. Verholst to three, and she lights it up. Oklahoma all of a sudden leads by one. New coach, new team, new state, but she looks very comfortable. <laughs> she does. She transferred in, was with the team for the spring semester, transferred from Louisville at the mm. Christmas break last year. So got that time to kind of get to know her teammates. But I love her story because she actually knew Jenny uh, prior to coming to Oklahoma. Recruited her at Drake. She used to attend her camps, but thought Drake was a little too small, but was extremely excited when Jenny got the job here at Oklahoma. And a three by Verholz drops. You can now take a charge in the restricted area, so that arc doesn't mean anything in the Correct. women's game. It still does in the men's game, though. That's exactly right. And then you also you have players that can wear number 0 to 99, and let's talk about that flopping rule as well. You <laughs> can't fool those officials any longer. You can't. She was on the Big 12 All-Freshman team. She's the first Oklahoma center, now officially center position, to be on the All-Big 12 freshman team since... No, come on, Courtney Paris. Yes, your assistant coach with the Dallas Wings yeah. and the great Courtney Paris. Yeah, that's one young lady that I'm so glad to have on our staff. 12-7, Beatrice Culleton had eight points and four rebounds in the win at Ole Miss this week. Sooners out to a 12-7 lead. Got a 9-0 run going. That runner missed, and Hannah Cooper banged into the basket stanchion underneath. She's slow to get back defensively. Lena Scott, the sophomore, going to work. There's Culleton crashing yeah. in. And they will call the blocking foul underneath. What an accomplishment that would be. Of course, Scott is going to join them, and it could happen today. That, that's very impressive. And her sister, Zaya, has signed to be a Sooner women's basketball player. They're excited. I like what Oral Roberts is doing right now defensively against Skylar Van is fronting her at the post position, making sure that she's, they want to put her around that perimeter, but they've got to make sure they have a hand up because she can knock down that three. 
Aubrey Jones. You know, she was one for three from the three, but this works extremely hard. She had 19 in the Sooners open. The struggles they had in that game really pushed them to get better in time to go to Ole Miss and pull off that win over the number 12 team in the country. Blocked there by Culleton. One thing I love about Oklahoma is when they run in transition, they're just great spacing. There's always a rim runner. They're hugging the rails, getting wide, and that's creating those open slot drives to the rim. Sarah Rodriguez, who's out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. It's her second season at Oral Roberts. Yeah, Sarah, she's, uh, like you mentioned, transfer from Oklahoma State, and, you know, she's shooting 57% from the field, and that's that's... Really, any, any coach would would want that for any of their players. <laughs> Skyler Van able to shake free on the inbound play and get her first basket of the afternoon. 19-9 to nine Sooners, three and a half to play opening period. Raina Scott stripped that one from Jones. Here comes Aubrey Jones the other way, launching and a little off the mark. Skyler Van there for the putback that won't go. And I think that went off underneath Udomo basketball is heading college basketball professional basketball is going into that positionalist bas you know a fun pace and and that's something that uh it's hard to defend it's hard to scout you have a lot of player movement ball movement and uh it, like i said the fans love to watch it cut back door this time udomo and then against Ole miss the sooners had 19 turnovers that led to 15 points Every time on the offensive end, and that's something that the Sooners definitely needs to work. Mm-hmm. They're they're used to having good flow, and so you've got to do something different. And I think Oral Roberts, they've been known to trap the on ball screen. They're about winning, and when you walk around campus at Oral Roberts, two things that people say that always is mentioned about Coach, and one is family atmosphere, and two, a winning mentality. Yeah, in fact, when we were on the Zoom call with her the other day, the kids were running through the office, but that's what it that's is a about. Good sign. Faith. That's right. Faith, family, and fearless. The three words they have up at the new Mike Carter Athletic Facility there on the Oral Roberts campus. Aubrey Jones launches in and out. Oh, wow. Stolen by Verholst, who lays it in. That that was a fantastic job. I have to admit, I've stolen DCO, Porter Moser, Sooner men's coach. That's one of his good terminologies there, DCO. That one rims For the Sooners, I mean, Nevaeh Todd, she's the constant. I mean, she's the veteran leadership, the point guard position. Player that Jenny Baranchek said is really, unfortunately, shoulder injury and surgery already. She has the opportunity. She's a very valuable, we'd say, student assistant coach. That's invaluable. I mean, she needs to stay connected, stay stay around her teammates. Uh, It's good for mental health, you know, and she's going to learn so much about the game of basketball by just sitting, listening, and and watching. Anna Cooper drills that little jumper in the paint. The Golden Eagles edge back within nine, under a minute left in the opening period. Verholz posting, had it knocked away, and there was a a little... Verholz, a little strong with that. Got the moving. She picked up a a couple of fouls early out of the game, and then when she came back is really when the Sooners started to go, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, I had an opportunity to watch that game on the plane. <laughs> you can see Oklahoma and Oral Roberts is going in, into that four out, one in. And I heard Jenny Bronchek talk about she'd like to get more paint points uh, moving forward. Shot clock is off. Eight seconds remaining in the opening period. Picked up on top by Jones. And she got that off underneath Allen. Converted. Opportunity at the rim. So they're going to have to make an adjustment. This is a 10-0 run put on by the Golden Eagles. Oklahoma's largest lead was 15. And now the next part that will start to come is the scoring. Maybe we're seeing that today. Nine points in the opening period. Yeah, I think this is a... You always play a little... Oh, what a pass. There's more of that facilitating. Keys couldn't finish it. And to the foul line is going to go Landry Allen. Well, again, just that one-handed bounce pass. And Lexi Keys, let's give it to her right now, being able to to take the defense a little bit higher to take away that recovery step and look to go back door. And and for her to deliver that pass, um, that's just great team chemistry. Ashland Sage circling around. The dribble handoff. Jones got trapped. Shot clock trickles down to 10 for the Golden Eagles to try to get one away. Jones will try to do so, but she's trapped by Verhulst. Shot clock at five. 
But what a great adjustment from Oklahoma. Uh, you can see that they're being a little bit more aggressive on the defensive end and not allowing them to turn the corner. They're making them go east to west. Lexi Keys, no from three-point range. Sooners three of 11 from downtown so far today. Jones cut off by Kennedy Tucker. Kennedy Tucker is one of those defensive stoppers that you can put in. I remember her. I mean, she's a, a great defensive stopper, and I think that's what they need right now as we discussed right um, the last possession. They need someone like that to get them fired up on the defensive end. That is Jaylee Oglesby, who's from Howe, Oklahoma, transferred from Arkansas Tech, and Verholst, 11 for Verholst. 11 of the 27 for the Sooners. That three rims in and out for Sage. And here comes Verholst the other way. You see Oral Roberts, too. They didn't go in to try to get the uh, offensive board. And you can see she may be a little tired. She's leaning over a little bit at that free throw line right now. <laughs> Sydney Baranchik not wanting to take her out. She's so productive. She's more aggressive offensively trying to score so far today. That air ball into the arms of Aubrey Jones. Usually go out to that four out one in. So I'm anxious to see if, if they do that. There's Van catching and scoring with the left Finish hand. with that left hand, as you said, going over her right shoulder. There's Keese. She's done Come this on. in every game now. Stolen an inbounds pass. She hits a diving Raina Scott for the deuce. <laughs> Layup here. Little uh, style points yeah. for Raina Scott She's there. trying to get on that top 25 ESPN load. By the right bucket here. by the Golden Eagles. Just trying to hang around, stay within striking distance. Underneath Pass. Jones scores it. Passes that she can make. But then Lexi Keys talking about turning the offense or defense. And <laughs> look at that exciting finish. Those are momentum changers. I mean, that is, that's fun basketball. Gotta love it. Skyler Van nearly out muscled everyone for that rebound. Culleton impacted in there by Rodriguez's length. Rodriguez goes about 6 3. Here she is. She can shoot the three as well. And it's Ooh. good. And Aubrey Jones the other way. Yeah, it was a good-looking shot. She, nine times out of ten, she'd probably knock that down. And a Cooper first team all Summit League last year and a wide open right. The last women's team in the state of Oklahoma to be playing basketball that season. She said, I didn't maybe dawn on her at the time, but you look back, that's a pretty cool deal. You have the deepest run of all the teams. Yeah, that's, that's impressive for sure. That one rents to get it back to single digits. That's one of the things we were talking about on break is that Nevaeh Tott needs to get a little bit more involved in, in the offense and, and defensively. She's been a little quiet here in the first half. Skyler Van. They got Landry Allen with that one. Trying to loop this one inside. It's stolen, though, by Lexi Keys as they were trying to work it to Jones. And then a foul at midcourt. Set, and uh, I expect great things from her this season. A free throw rims. And that Jenny will have them shooting free throws <laughs> either today or tomorrow. Well, two and a half minutes left here in the opening half. Hannah Cooper pretty quiet so far for the yeah. Golden Eagles. A 20 point per game score last season. First team all Summit League. Backs down Tot and scores over the top. And Verholz back the other way for the Sooners. Under two left in the first half. Right now, Oklahoma needs to have a little bit better spacing. They're not getting those easy drives to the rim because they're getting a little congested, getting a little too close. So Cooper with a minute left. Ooh. Rodriguez. And they'll call a foul. Sir Rodriguez, three seasons at Oklahoma State. Had one year shortened due to injury to provide that inside depth. ORU in the Summit League. So the Sooners going to hold for the final shot. Nevea Tot at the controls. Looking like a little four high set. You can see Jenny smiling. I don't know if they're running it exactly how she envisioned it, but. Raina Scott lost it on the way up. We'll see if the Golden Eagles get a good look at it. Udomo with the kick out left side. Helen Drum's three is strong, and that'll do it for the opening half. Set to go, second half. Sooners on top by a dozen. Udomo trying to flip that one to the baseline and work it into Jones, but it's knocked out of bounds by the Sooners. This will be a spot throw in for Hannah Cooper and the Golden Eagles. Same starting five for both teams to start half number two. Nice little screen there that frees Jones, but she missed it. Picked up by Sahara Williams. 
Now, Jones is going to need to get going to help uh, Or Roberts get back in this game. I mean, she does have a quick first step, nice jumper. Um, and, again, she usually hits those mid-range shots. Here comes Udomo all the way into the paint. Williams shuts her down. Backdoor cut to Robinson, who scores. Well, that's what you don't want because the Sooners did the right thing by stopping Udomo at the, at the elbow and picked up her dribble, but you cannot let an easy bounce pass to the rim. There's Sahara Williams finding her way in for her second field goal of the afternoon. Now, that's a young lady that I expect to have a big second half. I mean, she's a, an incredible player. Uh, but one of the things that, you know, a couple of things that she said that she still needed to work on was her threes and, and dribbling. And let me add one more, being a better teammate. Lexi Keys sprints to the rim. Foul is the second on Cooper. Keys lines up, tries to convert the old-fashioned three-point play. She's got eight points, taking immediate ownership as a freshman. Cooper. Over to Robinson, getting her way back into the lane for another two. Tyler Van now posting, played one-on-one -on -one by Robinson. Little jump hook that won't land, though. Yeah, I like how they pass it into her. She had a mismatch there, and uh, she's got. She needs to finish those. Robinson tries to float that one over Van. Some time over on Jenny Baranchek's bench. And this is a true freshman who had a double double in her second collegiate start. <laughs> That's nice when you have a freshman come in and do that in her second game. 11-point advantage for the Sooners. Beatrice Culleton has entered with Van going to the bench. A beautiful dump-down yeah, pass. And didn't release until the pass was was right where she needed to release uh, at the top of her of her elevation. Uh, but one thing that Oral Roberts has got to do, if you're going to front, you better... And they just told yeah, they her, just said, told hey, her. that's four. <laughs> she was instructing someone else. Beautiful oh, nice find that pass. time. Verhol to play this one in for the Golden Eagles. Anna Cooper. Nice move. Cooper just a blow by that there. A, that was a nice possession. Verholst lines up a two that's no good. And Udomo with the rebound. Stepping just behind the line and launching is Udomo no good in there. Big collision. You know, on the offensive end, especially when you're not shooting very well. Aubrey Jones back in. Kennedy Tucker in for the Sooners as well as Sahara Williams gets a breather with keys. And there's that baseline drive as Emily Robinson continues to do work. She's into double figures. Yeah, that was a really good job of being aggressive but not playing the foul. Can we say Merry Christmas early? <laughs> Absolutely. It's never too early. <laughs> Cooper pulled the trigger a little short for that time. Verholst. Over for Raina Scott. Scott finds Culleton for the lay-in. For a predominantly new team. Robinson off the mark with that one. And Scott will attack the other way for the Sooners. Nice extra pass for Kennedy Tucker. Her three is good. 16-point lead, the largest of the day for Oklahoma. Midway through the third. Cooper attacks Jones and got that one. All trouble as Sahara Williams and Skyler Van are both over on the bench with three fouls. But Lexi Keys runs. Jenny Baranchek has a huge smile on her face right now on the sideline, and I think it has a lot to do with Lexi Keys. With good reason. Robinson. Shooting only 21%, but this will give her some uh, great confidence after this game. Dozen points to lead the way for the Golden Eagles today. Made them both. Oklahoma can break it quickly and score. But they turn it over here. Aubrey Jones pass right into the arms of Sage. Well, they haven't seen it. You know, I mean, it's something that they have to get used to. That's, uh, I think it's a smart move by Owen. Turnover number 17 against Oral Roberts. Keys breaks the press, and Johnson rewarded. Just standing there. Oh. Well, I know Coach Music is not going to be happy with that. Just dribble down and hand it off at the rim for an easy layup. Baseline Baldwin is able to find a lot of physical play right now. Verhulst steps out and launches wow. and hits. See, that young lady is playing extremely well. Sage's shot is blocked by Verhulst. Three on two as Oklahoma pushes. Can't leave Jones open. Although she misses that one. And a foul on the rebound. 
looking for a little bit more of those backdoor cuts. Kelsey Music was the head coach at Southwestern Oklahoma State. And both free throw. You can hear her yelling to her team right now, switch if you have to. And a holding foul on the inbound. Ten points, mm. two assists. The Oklahoma has struggled at the free. One thing that helped carry them through to that win at Ole Miss, they were 20 of 23 at the foul line. Allen picks up the loose. Robinson lines one up from deep, no good. Here comes Verhulst. Sooners can have the final shot if they so choose to close out this third quarter. But a travel against Nevaeh Tot. Only has one today. Oklahoma now 15 turnovers. Golden Eagles with the final chance to close out the third. Out of the corner. Udomo hits it. Nice shot. Udomo and Cooper both all summit league. Last year, Cooper first team, Udomo second team. And they are projected to be all league again this year. There's an illegal screen. Well, again, when the defense kind of bumps you a little bit, you've got to hold your ground, keep your dribble, not allow the official to bail you out like that. And a lot of whistles today. We'll see if they play a little more openly and freely here in this final quarter, attacking as Baldwin. And we've had two whistles in the first uh, 31 seconds. See, well, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nevaeh Tott, Peyton Verholst, Skyler Van, Beatrice Culleton, and Lexi Keys on the floor for Oklahoma. Remember, Van is playing with three fouls. Verholst just having an excellent day. Nevaeh Tott, she hits there you it. Go. A sec Needs her to do. I mean, she's uh, at OU, she has started 54 times out of 20. And she's the only returning starter. And she's already pushing the pace. On, on offense, and that's what they need her to do. Sooners can score quickly, even off a made basket like that one by Robinson. Robinson now has 15 points and four rebounds. That's a true freshman for Oral Roberts. Culleton trying to dump it down to Van. Verholst to three. Got another oh, one. On. Talked about her brother, right, Bill being in the military. And that's I, right. I got a feeling she may be playing for him a little bit today. Quentin, brother of Peyton Verholst, had a nice tribute to him here in the arena as well as on our broadcast. That one rims it. I'm really proud of Udomo. I mean, at Oklahoma State and didn't get a lot of minutes and then coming in and making such an immediate impact on this ORU team. Bill Annan, who was on Kelsey Music staff, was on the OSU staff two seasons ago for Jim Littell. This is Cooper and Van stealing that baseline pass intended for Udomo. Tot in attack mode, but turned away nice. by Rodriguez. It creates a Van three. And a rebound run out here for Robinson. Finding Cooper. Blocked by Van, but that'll oh. be see the ball. But Van has to go to the bench. Aubrey Jones in there. One of two for Cooper. 20 point a game scorer a season ago. And has 11 so far today. See oh, are you coming out in their trapping press? Sooners break it and Jones. More or less a, a turnover waiting to happen. What a great job by drawing the second defender to come over and for a wide open shot from Jones. That ball just hanging in the air. Verholst had good position. Verholst, left-handed dribble all no. the way down. And Oral Roberts may have to start trapping her, icing her on the side, not allowing her going to the middle. Got to do something different. Off the rebound, it's Udomo. Baseline jumper for Jones now. And the loose change picked up by Aubrey Jones, but she saves it right to Udomo, who's going to go to the foul line. That foul on the Sooners, Beatrice Culleton, was her second. Udomo now into double figures. And a great crowd in here. Around in the RVs and still in town, some of the hotels, and come watch a 2 o'clock basketball game the next day. Aubrey Jones at three. Oh, she got another three one. Point line and an open look. You've got to run her off. You've got to do something different against that young lady. She's the third sooner in double figures today. How about an answer by Sage? No. Rebound peeled away by Robinson. Right back up and in. 17 points and six boards for her. Yeah, she's having a good game for ORU. And what a great shot right there under pressure. 
Got an illegal around the high post area, getting to the rim and defensively making an impact. And Kelsey Music told us she's really a, a good knockdown shooter, but a right. lot of her buckets today have come in and around the paint. And there she is again on the receiving end from that bounce. 15 point Oklahoma lead. Lena Scott at the controls for the Sooners. And Peyton Burholz has been fantastic today. Robinson nearly stole that one. Sooners have an advantage here. Jones launching and hitting again. They have a great opportunity to slide up and, and look for the ball to knock down a three. Verholz collecting another rebound. She's got seven to go with 24 points on the day. Sahara Williams back in there with those four fouls and a good high-low dump down pass to Verholz for the deuce. Well, I love that high-low look. You know, when, like myself, when you have two, six, seven players on your team, we ran a lot of high-low, and that was great <laughs> execution. Jenny Brunchek camps at Drake, uh, recruited it to her through that process. And, and today she's been a knockdown shooter, Peyton Verholz, four of four from the three line, 10 of 13 from the field overall. Now she's running point guard. So talk about positionless basketball. She cuts back Look door, scores. Chad, and we always like to say sharing's caring, right? It is. And so 29 last year against TCU, last January it was. Verholz may have impacted that shot. Great pass yeah, out of the air to Keyes. Verholz tips the rebound back to Nevaeh She's Todd. all over. Now she's lining up a three. Chad. Wow! One Great game. Nine for Peyton Verholz. This corner three sails into the arms of Skylar Van. Sooners closing in on this 3-0 start for the three, third time in three years under Jenny Baranchek. There's Nevaeh Todd, 29, but that three had not yet hit the stat column. So she has 32 points. Most by a player under oh, Jenny Baranchek is 33. Oh, and another on, beautiful Chad. pass to Van. It started with Lexi Keys, but for that pass to thread that needle like she just did and hit her on the run was beautiful. Look at this, Chad. I mean, she was gathering herself, but still made that a complete that pass to make it a positive possession on the offensive end. And, you, and what I love about it is she knew that Skylar Van would be at the front of the rim because she is a true rim runner. I'll be quiet now, but I would like to keep going. No, go ahead. I mean, go ahead. She's, I'm the fired platform up about is yours. That. I love great basketball. And look at Jenny giving her a high five, and the crowd's going insane for her. That is as good a performance as the Lloyd Noble Center has seen in quite some time, and that's saying something. Sooners. Nearly a hundred points on the day. Look at oh, that's just that's just love right there. Look at Skyler going up to her and just really celebrating her. That's a, that's a great culture. Oglesby fouled on her way to the rim. There's still 2:15 left. You know, having chemistry flowing early and test ourselves by playing the best in the country has done a fantastic job in only her second season. And uh, this this has been a great basketball game today. 10 to shoot here. Beatrice Culleton has returned. Dumping it into Allen. High off the window. No. Kennedy Tucker back up with the miss and she scores. <laughs> Sooners over 100 points. So shout out to all the strength and conditioning coaches on both sides. Yeah. Kelvin Peaks got these Sooners in great shape and ready to go. Competing at a high level. Nearly completely revamped roster. 10 new players. Sooners impressive today and moving yep. to three and zero, backing up that win at number twelve Ole Miss in the midweek as Allen turns and scores what may be the final two of the day. Yeah, great job of keeping the ball high, not bringing it down so the defense can aggravate it. Really good kiss shot off the backboard. Now before we have another free throw shot, and they've held Oral Roberts to thirty five percent shooting, just eighteen percent from three point range today. Don't let that get lost in the shuffle no. either. And the Sooners will be able to run the timeout on this one. Move to 3-0. and For the third consecutive season. Three for three under Jenny Baranchek. Sooners going to climb up the national rankings this week as well when those come out. Final score, 103-74. Oklahoma wins it over in-state foe. Oral Roberts, the Sooners winning for the 23rd time with 15 losses against the Golden